welcome to Sunday's market report with Vegas and Jim. Today we're going to bring up Genius and good morning, Miss Vegas. Good morning, everyone. Happy Fourth of July. Hope you're having a good time celebrating and obviously social distancing. So we want to talk about Genius, G N U S, Genius Brands, and I got to say, I love the name of the company because the CEO is absolute genius. So let's talk about this company because you guys recall that we did a video on this about a month and a half ago and the stock at the time was under a dollar and it ran to $11.73. So tons of people I know made so much money on this. Jim and I both got tons of messages from people that made thousands and thousands of dollars just on our commentary of the video. So again, just want to explain what's happening with the company and talk about why there is some hype on the stock once again. And of course, do your own due diligence and in no way is this a recommendation to buy the stock. We're just sharing our opinion and full disclosure, I'm in the, I'm in the stock and options as well. So genius brands. So obviously you guys know the stock is GNUS. They're obviously into producing content, marketing content. They got a lot of licensed branded children's products and it's worldwide media distribution and also retail channels. And I'll talk about one of them later and definitely led by award-winning producers. Uh, and they got a huge portfolio for both toddlers all the way to what they call tweens. So the management, Andy Hayward, you can see his picture here on this presentation. He is a multi Emmy winning producer. He is the founder and CEO of DIC Entertainment. He's produced over 5,000 episodes. If you guys remember Alvin and the Chipmunks, Hello Kitty, which is huge, uh, G.I. Joe, Mario, Super Mario Brothers, Strawberry Shortcake. Oh my God, I used to have a Strawberry Shortcake doll. And she actually smelled like strawberries. Hmm. So he was very involved. And then he sold his company to guess what? Walt Disney. Jim, that's huge. That is big. And he, oh yeah. And he managed it for Disney, by the way, for more than seven years. Then uh, he obviously has many, many awards and credentials. Okay. So this Andy. He is brilliant and knows exactly what he's doing. Why would Disney buy a company from him? He obviously knows what he's doing. Okay, so they have three pillars of value creation. So they have the growing portfolio of the brands, the global consumer product and distribution, and then they have the owned distribution platform. So if you look at the growing portfolio of brands, we have Llama Llama, Stanley Superhero Kindergarten, which by the way, features Arnold Schwarzenegger as the kindergarten uh, teacher. And also he does the voice of the kindergarten teacher. Remember his movie, Kindergarten Cop. Then we have Warren Buffett, Secret Millionaires Club. We have Thomas Edison, Secret Lab, Space Pop, Giselle, the Green Team, Martha and Friends. Scrolling along, we have the Llama Llama. You know, this one here, by the way, over 30 million books in print in over 60 countries. It's actually on Netflix. So if you have a Netflix subscription, you can check out this show, Llama Llama. They got celebrities doing the voice. Jennifer Garner does the voice of the Mama Llama. Then we got Rainbow Rangers. Second season on Nick Jr. We got Stan Lee Superhero, which is the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And by the way, this is a really interesting one, okay? This has a partnership with Alibaba, so the stock ticker BABA, and launching on Amazon Prime in the US. And on Alibaba's, they have their own Yoku Kids in China in 2021. So Yoku is like the YouTube, but for China, okay? 
for this particular channel. And then they have a major consumer product program launching in 2021. So you'll notice that the character Stan Lee, he will be a cameo appearance in all the episodes, the way that they did it in the Marvel feature films based on his character. So like in that one, then we have all the consumer products. Look at these products. Llama Llama, they got like pajamas, books, dolls, toys. They got everything, stuffed animals, birthday supplies. You know, people want to make a theme for your birthday for your kid. They could make a Llama Llama theme. If you go to the next, they got, look at all these products, Jim. Rainbow, they got the bike. All the girl toys, the headphones, the Barbie dolls. It's just incredible. Yep. So the consumer product licensing, they got 65 licenses in the global market. They got over 20 licenses for animated content in 90 countries. And they got over 450 SKUs launching in the next 12 months. And with top manufacturers like Mattel, which is Fisher Price, Bentex Group for apparel, and Macmillan for publishing. So we're probably going to see a lot more PRs coming out with this company. Then we got the Cartoon Channel, which is fantastic. And this Cartoon Channel is the Genius brand owned and operated distribution system. And what they want is they want to make it fun family friendly, friendly and free. So this is supported on cable and satellite. And, you know, parents don't have to worry that the content's not appropriate. And um, what they're going to do is they got over 4,000 hours of content. By the way, they're adding stuff on a regular basis. And it's available in more than 100 million homes. And you can also watch it on your Android or your I guess other products like your iPads, tablets, etc. So the Cartoon Channel is all about making sure it's fun and engaging and educational. There's no negative stereotyping, there's no inappropriate language, and they have no violence. So they want to make sure it's it's enriching and also for family co-viewing for parents to probably watch the show with their kids. Now, what do they have in the pipeline? Well, they have a lot in the pipeline. They have a lot of pre-existing brand equity. They have merchandise to drive a large consumer product business. And they have a lot of um, partnerships as well. Basically, the Genius Brands has over 450 distinct program episodes over 65 consumer products, 500 licenses. By the way, they're a partnership with um, Walmart. And starting in August, they're going to be distributing uh, products at Walmart. They also have it on um, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, Roku, and Tubi. So this kind of gives you a little overview of the um, genus. You can see here that the directors are super smart. One of the executive chairman of the Cartoon Channel, Margaret Loesch, you know, she worked at Marvell Entertainment and she also um, was the founding president of Fox Kids Network, which by the way, sold guess to who? Disney for $5.5 billion, okay? Mm. So she has a lot of experience. She was not just working at Marvel, but she was the president and CEO of Marvel Productions. Okay. She was also the president of the Jim Henson Company. That is just major, major, major experience. And she's been very involved with Batman, Spider Man, and uh, with Steven Spielberg, the Muppets. So you want to talk about experience, fantastic experience. So. Strong, 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 strong leadership team. And uh, you can go, you guys can go and read the rest of uh, the executive team that they have here. But this genius 
is a genius. Now, what is the excitement? First of all, if you go to the website of the company and go at the news tab, you can always read all the news that's there. But one of the important things to mention is I did mention that the company is debt free and they have 65, uh, sorry, $55 million of cash. What they did was they, um, they had uh, all their existing senior uh, secured convertible note holder, holders to have them prepay their notes for an aggregate of four million three months early and then have the note holders convert all of their $13.75 million of debt into equity. So what happened is the result left the company debt free and with $55 million of cash on the balance sheet. So what happened with all this information, this will win-win because the company as of this announcement on June 23rd was debt free and holding $55 million of cash, which gives them the opportunity to take steps to build the cartoon channel, to help broadcast it anywhere and produce, acquire and license programs for children. And they're very excited that, um, that the uh, existing secure debt holders had the confidence in the company to prepay $4 million note obligation and to then convert their entire debt into equity right away. Very important information. The other thing too uh, that they did mention uh, in their news release, um, the uh, CEO, Andy, which I just talked about tomorrow at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. So that's gonna be one o'clock Eastern Standard Time because the company is in Beverly Hills, California. He will be hosting a conference to discuss an existing business development. And so if you wanna tune in to that call, you're welcome to tune in. The information is here on the website. I'll put it below in the video uh, information and you can listen to it live and there'll also be a presentation. So it's up to you if you wanna tune in. So what is he gonna announce? Again, he's going to be talking about an exciting business development. So as a result, what's happening, you know, since the stocks pulled back after it had that pop all the way to 1173, um, you know, the, uh, the market, the traders are now re-interested in the stock, but really since the announcement of the stock being debt free. Now, if you follow me on StockTwits or Twitter, uh, I did post this and Jim can show you when this announcement came out on June 26, I posted this right away, real time. And I did say that the company had a that he acquired 11.6 million shares of common stock and that they are also debt free. He has skin in the game and back in the, back in the trade. So that was fantastic information and fantastic news. And so since that post, the stocks already gone up over 37.6%. So the swing is still in play. And so I wanna turn it over to Jim to hear his thoughts on the stock, but also wanna hear from Jim, his detailed uh, thoughts on the chart, because uh, we wanna know what are the supports and resistances we're looking at, because there's gonna be a lot of hype on the stock. I know a lot of people are in the stock and a lot of people know that this ran last time to over $11. So. Can we see this again? You never know. Depends what the news is going to be. You know, you can't say it's gonna go, oh, it's only gonna go up $2. We don't know. I mean, to be honest, I never thought that back in May when the stock was trading around 61 cents, that the stock was gonna go to $11 and 73 cents. I never even saw that coming. Um, it just came out of nowhere and the stock just exploded. So Jim, let's hear your thoughts on Genus, what you think of the company and your detailed thoughts on the chart, because that is gonna be instrumental to people that are in the trade and instrumental to people that are not in it that might want to consider it for a day trade or maybe a swing trade. So Jim, over to you. 
Yeah, first impression is that I was impressed that Miss Vegas picked this one out and she uh, caught it before all the action started hitting it. I was also impressed that it's debt free, which <clears throat> brings me into the game because I like companies that are debt free. I also uh, want to go ahead and pull up the chart, but I, I'm really interested in this stock and I'm and it's got it. I mean, it's got a lot of social media activity on it and a lot of low float people are watching it, too. So this is a stock that you can get in and out, and it's a stock that you can swing if you get in at the right support. We called it right at the bottom, and it was just a beautiful call by Miss Vegas. And so let's go ahead and pull up the chart right now. I'm 100, oh, I'd say probably 85, 80% bullish on it to get back up to the resistance levels. But we're, we called it way back down here when it was down here around 30 cents. It bounced off that 200 and we had to run all the way to 11.73, creating a little resistance right here, right around the 9.52 area, and some more resistance right here, right around the 7.94 area. So I'm just kind of charting these lines in right now to just find if we do have the breakout, and we're gonna find out here on the 20 day where the breakout's gonna be on the 20 day one hour chart. And that's gonna be right up here, right around the, the 6.89 area if it gets up that high. So you got three steps to get to, and these are, the three right here we did bust past the fourth step and that was right down here at 320 and we busted out of that Friday we had a real nice run on it Friday so it can consolidate and pull back to that 320 area for a strong buy and then break a resistance level and I'm gonna say that's right around here around 480 and if we can bust past 480 and the momentum still to that five dollar mark and we break that five that imaginary number that we all look at we can get up to 541. We can bring it up to the next tier up here, right around the next resistance channel of 660 to 689, and then we'll reevaluate it after that. But always remember that 950 is going to be your very hard resistance if it carries up. This is going to be a low float player, and there's a lot of social media activity on this stock. Keep a good eye on it this week, and we wish you all the best, Miss Vegas. Well, you know what, like anything else, I mean, what's really important is to pay attention to the volume on this one. Exactly. Uh, because the volume, you know, does precede price. So, you know, if you are trading the stock and you're day trading it and you see that the volume uh, precedes price, you know, you may want to even can swing trading it. I mean, you remember, you have to keep in mind, you know, when you trade a penny stock and anyone will tell you, a lot of people sometimes don't like penny stocks, but I mean, I love, I love them, but what I don't love, obviously, sometimes I've been in stocks where I've gotten an offering out of nowhere, and I'm like, oh, my God, why did I trade this crap? And then, you know, I had to close and take a loss. And, you know, it's part of trading, taking these losses. But the thing is, what I like about this company is that, you know, they are debt-free. And to see that there is a penny stock under $5 that is debt-free is a fantastic, fantastic feature of a penny stock. So, I mean, I think it's great. I mean, this, this should give you confidence that they don't need um, money and that there's not a, the likelihood of an offering. So I think that, um, you know, keep, you know, to keep that in mind when you are considering to either take, trade the stock or uh, take an investment in the position. But again, remember, do your due diligence, okay? Because that's important, it's your money and you wanna make sure that you're putting your money in, the, in, a, in a quality pick. In, in my opinion, this is a really good quality pick but again, do your own research and your own due diligence. So this will be quite interesting. I wonder what Andy is going to share with us tomorrow because they do have a lot of stuff going on, but he wants to discuss some key business developments. So I'm really interested to hear what else they've been working on and what else is coming up. And what's I like interesting about this company too is that they really have a lot of celebrities involved. Okay, like they got Otto Schwarzenegger, now he's an investor. They have Jennifer Garner. So are they gonna have more celebrities coming in to the picture? I won't be surprised. Um, and I wanna hear probably more partnerships with other companies. Like, you know, why are they not marketing the product, let's say to Target? They have a partnership with uh, Walmart. They're gonna be launching products in, in August. But I'd love to hear if there's any more partnerships with additional retail stores. Um, and you know what? Maybe there'll be a partnership with Disney. Wouldn't that be interesting? Oh, I mean, they have a connection with Disney. Can you imagine he mentions that we are discussing or in discussions with Disney? <laughs> I mean, my God, 
what like that would be like phenomenal because remember he had a company that he sold to disney <laughs> so he's got connections right right on so so you know what anything's possible i can't wait to hear what andy has to say tomorrow i'm definitely tuning in to that phone call so i'm definitely going to be tuned in i want to hear what he has to say because uh he is brilliant i love him he's a visionary he is inspiring and uh this channel is just going to be amazing i mean they're gonna have so much success and uh, you know we need content like this for families today uh, you know, if you think about all the cartoons on TV, there's so many of them out there that are not as good. So to see that this is now going to be the leading cartoon channel, I love it. I love it. So if you have kids, you should be checking this out because this cartoon channel is uh, going to be so much fun. And I love what they're doing with the Amazon Prime video. So if you have Amazon Prime, you can watch it on Amazon Prime video. It's on Apple TV, on Roku. They got it on Redbox, they got it on Tubi, they got it on uh, Sling, they got it on Dish. So definitely check it out. It is definitely the very best in kids and family entertainment. And uh, I think that uh, they're going to go very far. So Jim, that's all I have to say about uh, Genus. I love the CEO. He's a genius. And uh, Andy, I can't wait to hear what you have to say tomorrow. Very excited for Andy Hayward and what he's going to share and, and tell us tomorrow. I think it's just going to be fantastic. So yep. stay tuned, guys. I also seen here they got a Warren Buffett Secret Millionaires Club channel. Yes, <clears throat> yes. So that was kind of neat. So always remember, hit them stock twit buttons. We have one here for me, and then we have Miss Vegas is here. Hit that follow button. We also have on the website our Twitter page. Hit that like follow button on our Twitter. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here at all times. There he is, that genius alert that someone in the room did very well in that trade. So, yeah, um, always check that out. Hit that subscribe button or hit that follow button. Also, remember to subscribe, ring that bell, and hit that like button if you like this video. This is the After Sunday Report with Vegas and Jim on Genius. And have a great weekend. We love stocks. <laughs>